Suppose we want to understand how our waist size changes when our height changes. But here's the twist. Our waist doesn't directly depend on our height. Instead, when we get taller, we usually gain some weight. And that extra weight is what changes our waist size. So there's a kind of domino effect. Height affects weight, and weight affects waist size. But our question was, how does waist change as height changes? Till now, in my previous video, we've seen simple differentiation, where one variable depends directly on another, like how distance changes with time, whose derivative gives us speed. But in many real-life situations, things aren't that direct. One variable might depend on another, which then depends on something else. This is where the chain rule comes into the picture. It tells us how to figure out the effect of one variable on another, even if they're not directly connected. Let's use some simple math to model this. This relation will be hypothetical and just used for explanation purposes. We'll say that waist size, which we'll call y, depends on weight w. And that relationship is y equals 2 times w. That means for every one unit increase in weight, the waist grows by two units, or the derivative of y with respect to w is simply 2. Now, weight w depends on height h, and we'll say w equals 3 times h. This isn't from real-world data, it's just something that I made up to help us understand how the relationship works. So when someone's height increases by one unit, their weight increases by three units, or the derivative of w with respect to h is simply 3. Now, here comes the interesting part. We want to know, how does y change as h changes, or what is dy over dh? This is where the chain rule steps in. It says that if y depends on w and w depends on h, then the rate of change of y with respect to h is the product of the rate of change of y with respect to w and the rate of change of w with respect to h. Mathematically, this means dy by dh equals dy by dw times dw by dh. We already know both of these. dy by dw is 2 and dw by dh is 3. So, using chain rule, when we multiply these two results, we get dy by dh equals 2 times 3 or 6. This means if someone's height increases by one unit, their waist size increases by six units. We could have also expressed the w in this equation using this to get y equals 2 times 3 times h, or y equals 6 h. And then we could have differentiated y directly with respect to h to get dy by dh as 6. But the whole point of the chain rule is that you don't need to combine all the equations into one big expression. Instead, you can look at how each part changes individually and then multiply those rates together. This approach becomes super useful when the relationships are complex or when it's hard to combine everything into a single equation. Also, this doesn't stop at only one layer in the chain. We can easily extend it further. For example, let's say clothing size, which we'll call C, depends on waist size. Maybe the relationship is simple, like C equals 1.5 times Y. Now we've added another link in the chain. Height affects weight. Weight affects waist and waist affects clothing size. Using the chain rule again, we can find how clothing size changes with height by multiplying all the rates together like this. So, can you let me know in the comments, what will be the value of dc over dh using chain rule? Now let us solve a few examples using chain rule. Let's say we have a function where y equals x plus 4, whole cube, and we want to find the value of dy by dx. Now, we know that there's more than one way to find the derivative of this y with respect to x, like we can expand this x plus 4 cube using the a plus b whole cube formula. That would give us this. Then we could use the standard rules of differentiation, like how the derivative of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1. 
to take the derivative of each term one by one. That method works, but it can get messy and time-consuming, especially with more complicated functions. Instead, we can use the chain rule, which gives us a cleaner and faster way. But you might think that we don't have an intermediate variable like we had in case of waist, weight, and height example. Here the relationship between y and x is direct. So how can we use chain rule here? Simple. We forcefully make a middle variable, say u, which we will express in terms of x, and then we will express y in terms of u. So how can we choose u in this case? The idea is to treat the inside and the outside of the function separately. Here, we make the inner function x plus 4 as u, and the outer function y then becomes u to the power 3. This is because it is easy to differentiate u cube when compared with x plus 4 cube. dy by du equals 3 times u square, right? Then we have u as x plus 4, and thus du by dx equals 1. So, using chain rule, dy by dx equals dy over du times du over dx. So, substitute both of them here to get dy by dx equals 3u square times 1 or 3u square. Now, it is not good to leave it like this because u was just a temporary variable we used to simplify things. The original function was in terms of x, so we should express the final answer in terms of x too. Since we had defined u, equals x plus 4, we plug that back in to get dy by dx equals 3 times x plus 4 whole square. Wow! Noise! Let's take one last example where y equals sine of x square, and we want to find the value of dy by dx. At first glance, this might seem a bit tricky, because the sine function isn't applied directly to x, but to x square. That's where the chain rule again becomes really helpful. Just like before, we'll simplify the function by creating a middle variable to break it into an inner and an outer function. Let's define the inner function u as x squared. That means the outer function becomes y equals sine of u. Now we differentiate each part separately. The derivative of sine u with respect to u is cos u. So dy by du equals cos u. Next, the derivative of u with respect to x is the derivative of x square, which is 2 times x. Now we apply the chain rule which tells us that dy by dx equals this multiplication. Substitute them to get cos u times 2x. But remember, u was just a temporary variable we used to simplify things, so we substitute it back. Since u equals x square, the final answer becomes dy by dx equals 2x times cos of x square. That's how we use the chain rule to easily find the derivative of a function like sine of x square. Now let me know in the comments the derivative of this y with respect to x. Also, you know the drill. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will make another banger video on calculus which will blow away your mind. Also, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones. So good!